Aloha, everyone. With all the craziness going on in the world right now, we're all going through a lot of emotional trauma. Fear is our body's way of warning us about danger, and there is danger ahead if we continue on the same trajectory. We've got to get back to the garden, because when you look at nature's design, you can clearly see our Creator God's thoughtfulness for sustaining life here on Earth. All of us humans and all the beautiful life forms of the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the fungi kingdom here on Earth enjoy a unique combination of the elements of the Earth, fire, air, water, and Earth, that supports us all in life with infinite abundance. When we tap into nature's abundance, we can all realize our God-given wealth. Consider how planet Earth's composition and nature's fractal expansive abundance that is all around us support us with everything we need to thrive with great health and to enjoy the gifts of beauty, fragrances, flavors, bird songs, sunshine, rain, and breezes. Once you get this into your heart and your head and your gut, you'll know that it's true. You'll begin to feel the wealth and abundance that this planet provides for us. My mission in life is to spread the truth that nature is infinitely abundant and the, that we are not in lack here. We are wealthy. Think about this. We live in a universe that constantly expands in outer space. That is the pattern in the universe out in space, and it's also the pattern here on planet Earth. One seed can go in the ground and produce 1,000 seeds in six months. One tree can grow in the ground, making seeds of its kind for hundreds of years. If you do the return on investment on planting seeds and trees, you find that it, it approaches infinity. And there's no other investment in the financial markets that comes close. My specialty is to teach people about nature's infinite abundance and to help them tap into it. Remember the story of Adam and Eve getting kicked out of the garden? Would you like to get back into the garden of infinite abundance? I hope so because I hope everyone on the planet gets back into the garden again and then we all have a peaceful and beautiful planet full of fresh food to eat, clean water, clean air, happy people, and happy wildlife. Once you establish the abundance in your yard, it can continue for generations to come. It's a gift that you leave to the future living beings on Earth and to Mother Earth herself. If you think about the word maternal, it has the word material rooted with it. And Earth is where our material form comes from. So in that way, Earth is our material source, our mother, our mater. So to learn more about co-creating with the living in abundance, you can follow the links below and I can help you get started today.